गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर देवाशीष कुंडू टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट यूरेथ्रा दिस इज द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम वेयर वी शो द टेस्टिस व्हिच इज सिचुएटेड इन द स्क्रोटम दिस इज द एपिडर्मिस दिस इज द वास डिफरेंस goes backward and connected with the seminal vesicle which is situated posteriorly then it goes forward and connected with the ejaculatory duct and continue as a urethra it is a tube for the passage of urine from the bladder to the exterior it extends from the internal urethral orifice and opens by the external urethral orifice its length about 20 cm this is a lateral view of the male reproductive system here is the bladder Here is the bladder this is the internal urethral orifice below the bladder there is the prostate which is situated in the neck of the bladder in the posterior there is the ejaculatory duct and this is the seminal vesicle this is the perineal body this is the urogenital diaphragm and this is the bulbous part and the spongy part of the urethra this is another view of the urethra this is the neck of the bladder this is the neck of the bladder This is the fundus of the bladder. This is the body of the bladder. This is uvula of the bladder. This is the prostate and the prostatic urethra. This is seminal colliculus. This is the bulbo urethral gland, also called Cowper's gland. This is the spongy part of urethra. This is the spongy part of the urethra. Okay. is another view where we show the peritoneum seminal vesicle ejaculatory duct here is the prostate here is the prosthetic part of urethra this is the membranous part of urethra this is the bulbo urethral gland which is situated posteriorly and this is the bulbous part of urethra pineal part of urethra and this is the glandular part of urethra which is the parts of the urethra here is the parts of urethra there are three parts prosthetic part membranous part and spongy part prosthetic part is situated in the prostate membranous part lying within the deep perineal pouch and spongy part lie within the corpus spongiosum of penis and partly in the superficial perineal pouch and partly within the penis the superficial perineal pouch is elaborately described in my next video where we clearly des describe the perineum and superficial and deep perineal pouch the part is again divided into the bulbous perineal and glandular part this is the another view of the male and female urethra this is the peritoneum ureter rugae of the bladder detrusor muscle ureteric orifices trigon of the bladder here is the trigon of the bladder this is the internal urethral orifice this is the prostate in male this is the prosthetic urethra intermediate part of urethra this is the external urethral orifice and this is the urogenital diaphragm this is the prosthetic part of urethra situated within the prostate length is 3 cm character most dilatable shape fusiform in cross section also separate due to projection of urethral crest from behind features urethral crest in the center prosthetic urethral on the other side ejaculatory duct and prosthetic sinus represented by the side of the crest here is the prosthetic part of urethra here we so the prosthetic gland the urethral crest which is situated behind 
this is the prosthetic sinus here this is the prosthetic sinus both side this is the prosthetic sinus in the center there is opening of the prosthetic uterine and both side there is a opening of the ejaculatory duct is another view this is the anterior view and this is the <coughs> lateral view where we also see the prostate this is the anterior lobe this is the median lobe and this is the posterior lobe in between median lobe and the posterior lobe the ejaculatory duct is situated posteriorly and pierces the urethra okay here we show the urethral crest posterior cuticle and this is the urogenital diaphragm membranous part of urethra it is situated superior and inferior layer of the urogenital diaphragm beginning from the end of the prostatic urethra it means where the prostatic urethra its ends there is a starts about the membranous urethra up to perineal membrane situation in the deep perineal pouch but part of its anterior wall also lies in the superficial perineal pouch length anterior wall is 2 cm and posterior wall is 1.25 cm it is star shaped cross section the another view of the parts of the male urethra here is the we saw the urogenital diaphragm this is the external urethral orifice this is the pre prostatic part of urethra specifically this is the prostatic part of urethra which is situated in the <coughs> prostate this is the membranous part of urethra it is below the urogenital diaphragm and this is the spongy part of urethra where the two bends which we saw in the diagram in the flaccid condition this is the first bend and this is the second bend this is mainly urethra this is the pre prostatic part here this is the prostatic part this is the membranous part which is situated in the urogenital diaphragm this is the narrowest part and this is the spongy part or penial part which is also divided into bulbous part penile part and glandular part the spongy part it lies in the corpus spongiosum of penis length 15 cm diameter 6 mm in the body of penis shape on cross section at bulb this is trapezium shape at the penis there is a horizontal slit at the base of the glands inverted t shape at in the external urethral orifice there is a vertical slit transverse section of different part of the urethra pre prostatic part there is a satellite shape because there is a muscle multiple muscles are stretch all around the urethra the prostatic part is a semi lunar because the urethral crest is situated behind and there is a concavity posterior membranous part also satellite because it is a membranous part it is so much soft and all the muscles muscular structure are around the urethra bulbar and penile part transverse slit shaped external urethral orifice sagittal slit shaped significance of different shape is maintain the continuous stream of urine flow this is the projectile flow okay this is the another view of the male urethra there is the membranous part of urethra bulbous part of urethra okay spongy part of urethra this is the corpus spongiosum this is the deep artery of penis intercavernous septum of the deep <coughs> lacuna magna lacuna magna this is the lacuna magna glands penis okay this is the navicular fossa this is the prostate this is the prostatic uterine opening of the ejaculatory duct this is the bulbo urethral or cowper's gland 
opening of the bulbourethral duct here okay sphincter of urethra internal urethral sphincter it lies around the internal urethral orifice it is involuntary mind it it is involuntary external sphincter situated in the deep perineal pouch origin from the pubic arch insertion into the perineal body structure within it bulbo urethral gland in male dorsal nerve of the penis and deep dorsal artery of penis this sphincter of the urethra there is a two sphincter internal urethral sphincter and external urethral sphincter internal urethral sphincter is involuntary and external urethral sphincter is voluntary arterial supply inferior vesical artery middle rectal artery and internal pudendal artery lymphatic drainage internal and external iliac lymph nodes nerve supply part above the opening of the ejaculatory duct autonomic nerve rest of the uterus sorry urethra is pudendal nerve female urethra it is 4 cm in length diameter 6 mm opens in between the two labia minora and 2.5 cm behind the clitoris this is the applied anatomy various applied anatomy are there rupture urethra stricture urethra retrograde ejaculation or dry orgasm incontinence of urine hypospadias epispadias cordy and catheterization this is a normal penis where the urethra is situated in between the corpus spongiosum and corpus cavernosum here is a normal situation of the urethra here is the hypospadias hypo means below the urethral opening on under side of the penis and here is a severe hypospadias where is the cordy formation here is the hypospadias different this is the glandular coronal side distal pineal medial sac proximal pineal pinoscrotal in means in between the pineal part and scrotal part junction between the pineal part and scrotal part pinoscrotal hypospadias different varieties of the hypospadias it is a scrotal and this is the perineal okay this is the urethral opening glandular this is the glandular this is the pineal this is the pinoscrotal and this is the perineal this is the type of incontinence there is a three types of incontinence one is overflow incontinence another is stress incontinence and another is urge incontinence overflow incontinence there is a urethral blockage here is the urethral blockage bladder unable to empty properly okay this is the overflow this is the stress incontinence relaxed pelvic floor there is the no relaxed pelvic floor. there is a bladder unable to empty properly there is relaxed pelvic floor increase abdominal pressure okay and this is the urge incontinence bladder over sensitivity from infection neurological disorders is a normal groin and this is the urethral stricture this is the urethral stricture it means there is the narrowing of the caliber of urethra the causes of the urethral stricture prosthetic enlargement urethra having infection pelvic injury or trauma trauma from accident or injury damage of urethra or bladder catheter insertion is the most important part different equipments are there catheter tray with wrappers penicillin drip cotton balls catheter 4 to 16 14 to 16 french for women we are used 12 french for young girls and 16 to 18 french for women sorry for men sterile drainage tubing with collecting bag correct size syringe sterile water cleansing solution lubricant or anesthetic jelly sterile gloves specimen container tape gloves and bath blanket 
the different types of the Foley's catheter. Here is the one-way catheter. This is the two-way catheter, silicon. This is the also two-way catheter, catheter, but it is formed as latex, and this is the three-way catheter, latex. Here is the catheter, the collection device filled with fluid to inflate balloon. This is the balloon, inflatable balloon, and cross device in bladder. This is the metal catheter. Uh, this picture how to introduce a catheter. There is a penis. We introduce the Foley's catheter. First of all, we lubricate the penile part of urethra and also the top of the catheter. Then we introduce the catheter. Here we show the catheter is introduced into the bladder afterwards. 15 to 20 ml of distal water is pushed for fill the balloon and then we pull the catheter to stack the balloon in the bladder inside. Here is another view. Here is the, how we introduce the female urethra. This is the urethral meatus. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.